Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get this video started, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if you find the video useful, please smash that thumbs up button. You have a vehicle that had a check engine light on and you replaced the part. Well, if you place their part and you did a proper diagnostic on the vehicle, the check engine light should clear itself out. But if it does not go out or if you just don't have the time to wait and you got the battery unhooked anyways, or well, for some reason you were battery unhooked battery because you're doing something else. What you can do to reset the computer, and it'll it'll clear your check engine light. However, this will not clear out the computer, so it'll be under your stored codes in a computer. In order to have that done, you need to take it to a to a proper technician to have them take a scanner and clear out the stored codes in the computer. Once you get the battery cover removed, you can take and undo the battery terminals. Make sure you can, but there's a bad design on Ford. Undo the negative first, which is all the way in the back. So unfortunately on these, if you can reach way up under there and get to it, or undo the positive, don't let it touch nothing. Undo your positive terminal. I believe these are, a t I think they're a 10 or an eight on these Fords. So get the battery terminal loosened. Then you can lift it right off. Leave it right here on the box so it doesn't short out touching the ground or anything like that. Always better be safe than sorry. We'll leave it unhooked for about 15 seconds. And we'll just skip forward there to that. All right, guys. Once you've left that off for 15 seconds or so, come back to it. Press it back down on. Take your wrench or socket with a ratchet. Tighten it back down. Don't over tighten it. So when you get it to where it's can't pull it anymore, only go about a quarter of a turn. There you go. So basically from three to six or from 12 to three. However your ratchet's positioned, when it stops, Go ahead and do it a quarter. In this case, it was right at three. I'm sorry, not three. It was it was right about, about four o'clock, and I brought it around to six, seven o'clock. So again, a quarter of a turn, and then it's tight. Don't over tighten it. Same thing with oil filters. Once you got it tight, get the battery cover, put it back up in there. And these are tricky because the way they go up under there, and they pop around on the outside. Gotta make sure they're on the outside lip over here because they cover the entire cover once you get that installed and there you go guys like i said this is to reset the check engine light to clear the light off if it just drives you absolutely crazy but again if the problem isn't fixed the light will come right back on or if you did fix the part when you had it diagnosed with a scanner and they told you what the part was or if you're at home mechanic and you have one of them little cheap scanners you can get on online or at AutoZone or uh, Harbor Freight or something like that and you're a DIY mechanic um, but again if you're you know you should better reset the computer with that scanner some of your little cheapies you can't they can only read codes this is this is an easy way to clear out the light but again if you didn't replace the, the proper if you didn't do the proper diagnostics and replace the part the light's going to come right back on anyways but if you did do the proper diagnostic and replace the correct part, the light should clear itself out. Uh, depending on what the problem was with the car, you know, at least after about 15, 20 minutes when the car gets up to running temp and the computer's reading everything correctly and it's off to running temps from the engine, transmission, oil, coolant, things like that, the light should clear itself out. So, but this is a quick, easy way for those who are impatient and, you know, time to go or simply... Um, the light, the car's maybe in limp mode and it's tricking the computer because the light's on, clearing it out this way. But again, within a millisecond, it'll come right back on if you didn't do a proper diagnostic and fix the part, the correct part to begin with. But I hope y'all found this video useful. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. You all have a great day.